Hey guys, Jake here and welcome to another video. Today I'll be doing another 11 smokes that you need to do and we'll be doing it on Inferno today. And as previous I said, I will start off with the A smokes again, so let's get started. Since that A is a very versatile site, you can do a lot with it. You can go in here to apartments, you can go from into here, you can go into here, you can then so access the site from here. It can also be defended from in this entire area, this area, this area, that area over here. So you can also go around here. It's very versatile and that means there's a lot of ways to get it and how to keep it the, the way and defend it. So there's a lot of smoke. So most of my smokes today are going for becoming for A side. I'll have a couple of B as well, but let's start going. So first one is to get into right here in this spot to inform uh, the balcony here from apartments. And I'm going to show you guys how to smoke inside with a truck so you can actually access it more easily. So you want to find this kind of flags here in like underwear and pants or whatever and you want to look at this bottom line here this is a stripe here you want to go on the stripe right there against the wall and you want to look at this window the left white side of this window is where you want to be uh from left and right and to, you want to go up to kind of the middle of this beam area so like this i'm going to use my helplines and I will be showing a tutorial for this helpline soon. And as well as I forgot to state, all timings for oil smokes will be in the description. And as well, you will need a jump script sometimes. Um, and I'll be showing you putting the link in the description as well. So let's get started. So you want to look at this white line. You want to go up to the middle of this beam like this. And just try. Smoke is going to go bounce up there, inside of here. As you can see from here, anywhere on the site, you have no clue, even from back here. You can't see anything and as a terrorist you can push into here, check right here and get access to pit without having to worry about all these spots. You can check everything from here in a kind of uh, nice way. Next smoke I want to show you guys how to smoke over this right side if you either want to go around that way or you want to go to CT to B. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to second mid and you want to look at this kind of area here. And you want to stand, put yourself against this wall here, like right like this. There's the right line, there you go. And you want to look at this uh, kind of chimney, I guess. And you want to look at this little gap here. A little bit to the left. And you want to throw just a normal throw. It's going to bounce off the roof here. It's going to bounce down. And it's going to land right in between here. Might leave a tiny little gap if you don't do it perfect. Like maybe a tiny little gap. But... You can't really use it, but of course, just watch out for any counters. But they don't, unless they put themselves right here, they're not going to see anything. And you can actually see them as kind of a one way smoke. The third smoke I want to show you guys is that I have to smoke up the left side if you prefer to take some control here of a boiler or just go into A side from this way. So, what you want to do for this one is you want to go and find this flower pot and you want to go stand into this corner. Now, this is this black kind of stripey area, and if you kind of Put your mind to it, there will be kind of a line right here. And you want to go put this line, you're going to go up to, again, the same area right there. So I go up to there. I'm going to do a regular truck as well. So I'm going to go over the roofs to the side. And I kind of feel I had to go a little bit more to the right. Sorry, guys, I'll do it again. Some of these smokes do need some practice, but again, let me get stride beats to be a little bit right. Just, just to be sure, guys, just aim a little bit right of black. There you go, it's going to land at what the pole. And I'm gonna smoke this off perfectly. If you're going mid to B and you're using this right smoke here, you can really use it as well by smoking off that area over here, which will smoke library, so you only have to worry about this little spot, but that's not gonna really um, gonna stop you from anything. So what you wanna do is you wanna go against this corner in this barrel around mid, so it's important to get some mid control before that. And then you wanna go and aim at this kind of edge right here tiny little bit to the left where this is this like three chimneys i'm just going to show you three chimneys i'm going to go from this tip and i go up like this but then from this position it's a little bit tricky to aim but doesn't matter too much and you want to do a jump trace scrap like that and it's going to bounce off the wall and bounce perfectly in the middle no gaps at all no problems no one around here can do anything besides just go into the library and stop you from here but you can easily hold them off from here, so easy peasy. The fifth smoke I want to show you guys, if you come on mid, this kind of area is kind of safe. If there's no one around, you go in this corner. Try a little bit to the left so you can see these vents entirely. It doesn't even have to be perfect, but let's just uh, go in here. There you go. Not like this at all, but just like this. Go a little bit back. There you go. And you aim at this 
of the vents, where the two vents meet, top of those area, right here. There's one lamp right here, you can use this to get a more quick access of mid to B. If you want to kind of rush mid to B, the first one, first player just goes in here, second player goes right here, and you actually have full control of mid to B. The sixth smoke is if you have a little bit of trouble, but there's always an upper there, you want to do this mid to B rush, uh, you can have a player on T spawn go on this line, run against here until you can't, you can't get any further. You look at this right side of this beam that's just straight away above it, and you're going to go on top of this pole, like right this. And you want to go and do a short run, like right here. Not right here, you don't want to be on this spot, you want to be before that. And you want to do a jump script while running, like this. It's going to feel a little bit slowly, but it's going to be perfect for smoking of mid. As you can see right there. Leaves a tiny little gap, but it's going to give the sniper a lot of trouble, but you can still use it in smoke here. Or, with a slight adjustment of just running a little bit longer, it's just something to practice on. If I'm going to run a little bit longer, until I hit the beam here as well. It's going to be, you're going to have a tiny little gap, but it's going to be a little bit better. You see, there's a tiny little gap here, but it's just what you prefer. This way, you have to wait until the smoke is going to actually push, but it gives you full mid control without having to worry about the sniper, as you can see. Nothing here. The seventh smoke I'm going to show you, and the eighth smoke will be for B. So when you actually take banana control, you want to go into this corner to smoke off CT. It's a very important smoke, and a lot of people should actually know, and a lot of people don't know, but you just go to the right, left side of this chimney here, you go up towards the cable, smoke. and just do a regular trail, really easy. It's going to smoke it off perfectly, no trouble, easy gap, and you have a much easier time on getting on this side, and don't have to worry about anything over there. The aided smoke or the second B smoke is a little bit more optional, but will definitely help you to get a little bit more control and easy take on B. You just go into this corner right here, you look at this little electricity pole or whatever it is, in the middle of this, and you go, you see this is lying a tiny little bit here, and you want to go in the middle of these two. Simple as that. So you're going to go in the middle of these two, and shoot smoke of spools like this, it's going to bounce there, and smokes this up. So combine the smoke. Gives you a lot easier time of taking sight. You can just check, 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 and you have these sights. So it's definitely going to help. If I was an up or over here, I don't have any control over here, or I can jump off here, but it makes me vulnerable. So I'll have to go back so you guys know that. The last three smokes I want to show you guys are CT smokes. Uh, I haven't done this in a previous video, but in further, there's a couple of smokes that you actually should know as a CT. Uh, definitely for A, uh, because it's hard to retake, but I'm just going to do the mid one first. So what you want to do, if you're going banana, or you want to help your teammates on banana, you can actually run here if you have a good spawn. You're going to run here, kind of position yourself here. If you practice a lot, you can position yourself like this, but it needs to be a little bit accurate. Now this is a little pole sticking out. You want to go up until the edge of this roof, like right here, in the middle of the edge of the roof. You want to run and throw. Smoke. Like this, it's just going to barely over the rooftops against this wall. Sometimes it's going to hit there, it's going to be a little bit slower, but the entire time it would take to throw the smoke, and then would mean the CTT spot, like these guys could get up to here, the terrorists, and they're going to be smoked off, uh, leaving them no choices to wait or to go A. So this basically gives you your uh, account, your friends a chance to push up banana right here and defend it from here, making it a lot harder for the terrorists. The last two smokes are for counter terrorists on A. The first one being a way to smoke of apartments when, they're, when the enemies are trying to get in. So you basically go to this first window here with the one without flowers or anything. You go to the right side, just put yourself against them. Now there's some cracks over here. I'm going to try to zoom in. So basically this crack, there's two, this is a large crack and there's two of the uh, horizontal coming out. The lower one, where it peaks, so right there actually. And you know, let's put myself up here again. I'm going to go on this crack here. I'm going to go up to this point here. It's a little bit tricky to do and you should practice on it and definitely try to find some helplines uh, somewhere or watch my tutorial if I have finished it. And just try. It's a bit of a risky grenade trap, but it should work quite easily if you have help lines. Smokes this area off, and as you can see, there's nothing here I can do. 
and just ha makes it so much easier for, for you if they're trying to rush A. When you're trying to retake A, which is a very difficult thing to do, this is one smoke that I think is very helpful in the process. So you know, it's the smoke of pet because definitely if you want to go this area and you have an opera and pet, it's pretty much impossible to do because there's no cover. So I'm going to go into this corner organizer here. It's a little bit tricky, so bear with me. So we have these three little chimney pipes over here. You want to look at the left one and you want to look at this right side of it. It's kind of a straight line. So we're going to go down that straight line until this line right here, this bottom line. And what you want to do now is go even down a little bit more. If you have help lines, you can use it by actually going where this antenna hides behind chimney. You can go up to that area from there. Now you're going to smoke. It's a little bit tricky and as you can see here, it's going to go barely over it, barely bounce a second time. But if you practice a little bit, it should work every time. As you can see, it kind of actually leaves you a gap to, to go here. But as you can see, this one as well. But over here, there's nothing to do. It's nothing to do. So an upper definitely does not have anything what he can do about you. So if you go here now and you have that smoked off, you can actually check this area, check the side. It's still a little bit hard, but it's going to make some stuff at least a little bit easier. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment down below if you have any maps to request to have some smokes on them and I'll be sure to do that. But that's it for today. Hope you guys learned some smokes and see you guys all later. Check out.